Have you ever wondered what it would be like if you could witness a divine intervention firsthand? Welcome to the world of Leviticus chapter 9, a pivotal part of the Bible where the sublime meets the human, where the divine descends to ordain Aaron and his sons as priests. This chapter isn't just a story, it's an exploration into the very essence of atonement and divine manifestation. Imagine a world where the divine isn't an abstract concept but a tangible presence, where the line between the human and the heavenly blurs. Leviticus chapter 9 brings us into this world, offering a glimpse into the sacred rites of priesthood ordination and the profound significance it holds in our understanding of atonement. As we delve into this chapter, we'll unravel the threads of divine intervention, of sacrifice and of consecration, weaving a tapestry of understanding and insight. Join us as we dive into the depths of this fascinating chapter and decipher its meanings. We begin with the ordination of Aaron and his sons as priests an event of monumental significance. Leviticus chapter 9 commences with God commanding Moses to instruct Aaron and his sons to bring offerings before him. This is the first act of Aaron's priesthood and it is done in obedience to God's specific instructions. A bull for a sin offering, a ram for a burnt offering, a grain offering and a peace offering are among the offerings they are told to bring. The offerings are not just about ritualistic adherence to commands, but rather they signify a deeper spiritual truth. The sin offering, for instance, symbolizes the confession and forgiveness of sins. The burnt offering, on the other hand, represents complete surrender to God, a total commitment. In this chapter, we see Aaron and his sons following these instructions to the letter. They bring the offerings as directed, and Aaron, as the high priest, presents them before the Lord. It's critical to note here the emphasis on obedience to God's commands. Aaron and his sons did not deviate from God's instructions, showcasing a profound reverence and respect for God's word. The sacrifices they make are not just physical acts, but symbolic gestures that carry a deeper spiritual meaning. The sacrifices represent their willingness to obey God, their commitment to serving Him, and their acknowledgement of their sins and need for forgiveness. As we delve deeper, we find that these sacrifices are not just for Aaron and his sons, but also for the entire Israelite community. They serve as a collective act of worship, a communal expression of devotion and commitment to God. We then see God's response to their obedience and sacrifices. Fire comes out from his presence and consumes the burnt offering and the fat portions on the altar. This dramatic display of divine approval signifies God's acceptance of their offerings and their priestly service. Through their obedience and sacrifices, Aaron and his sons set a precedent for future generations. This chapter serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of obedience to God's commands and the profound significance of sacrifices in our spiritual journey. Now, imagine the awe and reverence you would feel if you witnessed a divine display of power. This is exactly what transpires in the closing segments of Leviticus chapter 9. The narrative reaches its crescendo as God's glory is unveiled in a dramatic spectacle for all to see. A fire, symbolic of God's presence, emerges and engulfs the burnt offering. This is no ordinary fire. It is a divine flame, a testament to God's power and sovereignty. It consumes the sacrifice, leaving nothing but ashes, a potent reminder of the omnipotence of the divine. The people who witness this extraordinary event are left in a state of awe. The sheer magnitude of the spectacle is overwhelming, and it prompts an instantaneous reaction. The crowd falls to their knees, their faces pressed to the ground in reverence and fear. This powerful demonstration of God's glory leaves an indelible mark on those present, reaffirming their faith and obedience. So, what can we take away from Leviticus chapter 9? First, we witness the ordination of Aaron and his sons as priests. This isn't just about religious ceremony, it illustrates the importance of roles and responsibilities within a community. In our own lives, we too have roles to play, whether in our families, in our workplaces, or in our wider communities. Secondly, we see the significance of obedience to God's commands. When Aaron and his sons follow God's instructions to the letter, they are rewarded with a powerful manifestation of divine glory. This teaches us the value of obedience, discipline, and reverence for authority, we also delve into the sacrifices made by the priests, which reminds us about the essence of giving and selflessness. In our modern lives, we can practice this by helping others and being generous with our time and resources. 
from understanding the significance of obedience to witnessing the power of divine glory leviticus chapter 9 offers us an insightful look into the foundations of faith and devotion are you ready for the next chapter just click here to go straight to it